Uh, it's a pleasure to be here. So I'll present our first STEMI case. And this is a patient whom we took care of about a month ago. He's a 57-year-old gentleman who's actively smoking, history of hyperlipidemia, and he presented with 10 out of 10 substernal chest pain radiating to his jaw and left arm while lifting heavy package at a loading dock where he works. And he actually had similar symptoms uh, three days prior to admission. It was escalating chest pain. He felt nauseated and transiently went away. And he had similar chest pain two weeks prior with a normal ECG by a PCP. His history includes um, hyperlipidemia. Uh, he has a 15-pack year history, now smoking about one cigarette a day, no alcohol or illicit drug use, and again, he works at the loading dock. Um, his mother had a history of uh, coronary artery disease and MI at the age of 86, otherwise no other history. Uh, he's taking aspirin 81 milligrams intermittently, <coughs> and he has no known drug allergies. On physical exam, he's a little hypertensive, and he was in mild distress. Otherwise, his remaining physical exam was fairly unremarkable. He was not in heart failure. He had no extra murmurs, and his pulses were all equal and intact. His uh, laboratory studies, um, CBC and chemistry, were fairly normal, and his troponin was elevated. And you can see his cholesterol panel. So his ER EKG uh, demonstrated massive ST elevations, suggesting uh, LAD territory. He was given aspirin 325 milligrams in the field, ticagrelor 180 milligram in the ER, and heparin bolus. He was given two sublingual nitroglycerin without chest pain relief. We went right radio. This is a six French Icari 3.5 guide catheter. His right corner artery was fairly un unremarkable, no significant obstructions, maybe some luminal irregularities. He has a 100% very proximal LAD occlusion. Um, his left main looks to be okay. His circumflex territory doesn't have significant obstructions. So we went forth with a BMW guide wire. We uh, performed aspiration thrombectomy with an ASAP catheter and, and aspirated some red and white thrombus. We also gave a bolus of eptifibotide. This is another view. You can see that the proximal LAD is very ulcerated. We pre-dilated the lesion with a 2.5 balloon, went ahead